I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. Hi, I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto with the executive producer of Our Man in Tehran, Elena Semakina. What was the best part about screening the film at the Toronto International Film Festival? Uh, well, the best part is always for any filmmaker is just the reactions of the audience. Mm -hmm. And we did have a standing ovation, so you cannot ask for a better response. We also, the, present, uh, the presence of uh, Joe Clark and uh, Ken Taylor and their support was um, remarkable. And uh, after the premiere uh, at TIFF, Joe Clark said that he watched Argo and uh, he saw our documentary and uh, he thinks that the truth is a better story. So mm -hmm. his comment was very, very uh, important to us and it made us feel really good. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind the making of the film and how it all got going. Uh, well, essentially it was a very candid conversation between uh, me and Ken Taylor, and um, he uh, told me his very compelling story, and uh, he included details that I did not know about, and as it turned out later, no one knew about those details, and I decided that um, those details should be documented, and uh, that a documentary should be put together. And can you tell me a little bit more specifically about the details that really caught your attention that you thought audiences would really respond to? Yes, absolutely. People knew that uh, Ken Taylor was responsible for sheltering six Americans during Iran hostage crisis. What they did not know that um, the extent to which he helped to plan um, the Operation Eagle Claw, the rescue mission, mission to save 52 Americans, American hostages that stayed at the American embassy in Iran. Uh, also, people did not know about detail, the the. Uh, rescue mission plan that uh, Ken Taylor prepared. It was um, uh, so he had the cover, and that ident the cover for that plan was uh, it was a documentary film crew going to Iran to put together a documentary about the revolution, mm -hmm. and uh, which, in some ways, it was much more elegant than you know this Hollywood Argo proposal. Mm -hmm. Did you have a sense of urgency in terms of making the film and in a response to Argo once Argo came out? Well, um, we should understand Argo was made for entertainment purposes mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, things in real life, uh, like there's, there were a lot of events that went um, very smoothly. and. Um, in a way, saving six Americans and um, that rescue mission was kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> so Ben Affleck definitely had to embellish certain things and create more suspense and drama. And uh, we cannot blame him for that because um, that film was made for entertainment. But I think that um, there should be something made f that reflects true facts and documents real story. And that's why this documentary came out. And you were talking to Ken Taylor about making this film before you even knew that Argo was being made. So when Argo came out, what was your reaction to that? Well, in a way, um, we we knew Argo. I knew I, I knew about Argo, but we did not know how uh, what exactly they're going to show and how they will show Canadians. Mm -hmm. And when Argo came out, um, we realized that that film gave one perspective. It was a perspective of Tony Mendes, the CIA agent. In fact, it was Ben Affleck's perspective of Tony Mendes. Mm -hmm. So when Argo came out, it really gave us that sense of urgency to make this film about, um, to include perspectives of um, Iranian and American viewpoints, mm -hmm. to, to include perspective of Iranians and Americans and Canadians. So, um, and you know, we felt that <laughs> this great sense of obligation to give a broader perspective. And we felt that if we did not do so, it will be a disservice to the story. So it, it really made us realize that 
the story should be told within a short period of time because Argo premiered um, last year at TIFF and we wanted to premiere a year later at TIFF so it would be a great bookend to the story. And what's the importance of Canadian audiences seeing this film in terms of getting a sense of Canadian culture and Canadian pride as well? Well, um, this event, uh, this is a very important event in history and especially in Canadian history. And uh, Canadians uh, sometimes are criticized for having this subdued sense of national pride. So here we have an opportunity to document um, and investigate heroic actions of Flora MacDonald, Joe Clark, Ken Taylor, and Joe Sheridan. So that's why I think this film, um, it was important for us to make this film because it does show that we do care about our history and we celebrate our Canadian heroes. And um, in a way, we were surprised that um, it was so easy for us to relatively, <laughs> mm -hmm. to get the support in terms of funding the film. Mm -hmm. So when we're criticized for not having this sense of national pride, it turned out it's not true because we had a lot of support. And, and where's the best place to find out more information on the film and to watch the film as well? Uh, the film is playing uh, at Bell Lightbox mm -hmm. right now, and uh, hopefully it will go to the rest of the theaters throughout Canada. Uh, it is also going to come out on TMN and uh, Movie Central. Thank you so much. Congratulations on an amazing film about great Canadians, and best of luck with the future. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto.